Okay, let's move on to let's move on to some more fun. I want to thank a few people for our wonderful dinner tonight. First, first and foremost, I want to thank Eric Burfind for an incredible dinner in the cooking team. Eric has been doing this for 28 years. Eric and his cooking team and Lee, his wife, and half the family is out there working tonight. And I want to thank Mary Fox, who's been um, learning at Eric's right arm and doing a great job. Mary, thank you. I want to thank Louise Bowles and Britt Van Dusen and all the volunteers who did the table decorations and all the settings. Beautiful, beautiful tonight. And then Liz and Jay Patton, and Ida and Bart Farenholt, and Margie and Tom Brown, and Lilliboo and Jack Cronley for um, being our hosts of our refreshments tonight and making that happen, and providing all the wonderful libations. Thanks, you guys, for that. And then, of course, uh, we are two feast chairs, Sheila Manise and Dave Stock, for the months and months of work that go into putting on this event. Sheila and Dave, where are you guys? You're all up here somewhere. Stand up, Dave. Stand up, Sheila. Uh, Shayla. Sorry, Shayla. Stand up. Where are you, sweetie? Uh, and, um... Eleanor Angle and Charlie Whitaker are our co-chairs of Annual Giving this year. And um, their leadership is fantastic, and I want to thank them along with uh, the person in the office who works 12 months a year on issues around stewardship, around the importance of us being good stewards of everything in our lives. And, and uh, this time of year, Chip is about to rip his hair out, but he's doing such a fabulous job. Chip Woodson, I want to thank Chip. As you can imagine, it's no small amount of work to put this on, and Chip Woodson and Sabrina LaFleur and Anita Lisk and Betty Molster and myself, but uh, they primarily did it, spent about six hours getting all the people placed at all of the tables. And when you have spots for 500 and you have 570 RSVPs, that was quite a trick. But what a nice fact to have so many people, so that's great. And of course, no feast would be even a feast without the gifts of Mark and Virginia Whitmire and our wonderful music program. Every year the theme is top secret, and I'm only told during private confession, so here we go. Sensational appearances at the Jardin du Paris, the Moulin Rouge, and the Ziegfeld Theatre in New York City. Alexander's Ragtime Review. <laughs> Starring Lisa Edwards Burrs and Daniel Pepio. <laughs> Mary Page Nats and Stephen Ralph. Elizabeth Dance and Andrew McFadden. <laughs> Antonia F.D. Vassar and yours truly, Will Kahn. <laughs> with, with our band, Virginia Whitmire, Scott Milstead, and Alexander himself, Mark Alexander Whitmire. Take you to Alexander's plan. Stand, brother. 
for 16 weeks, Moonlight Bay. from the famous Ziegfeld Follies to sing and dance the hit song, Sail On Silvery Moon. Sail on, silver moon, sail on. 
Singers to sing a beautiful song. The number one hit of 1912 as recorded by the great Al Jolson, that haunting melody by the immortal George M. Cohen. It's certainly hard. 
course, we all know Scott Joplin. But did you know that he has written a new song just for this very evening? He calls it Scott Joplin's New Rag. Direct from New York City, here is Mary Page. earlier this year by Ernest Ball. One sure to be a hit for all of you just off the boat from Dublin. Let's everyone join in on the last refrain. There's a tear in your eye and I'm wondering why for it never should be there at all. With the power of your smile every stone you'd beguile so now never a teardrop should fall. With your sweet lilting laughter like some fairy song and your eyes beaming bright as can be, you should laugh all the while and at other times smile. So then smile a smile for When the Irish eyes are smiling, it's like the break of spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When the Irish hearts are happy, all the
Williams had this smash hit earlier this year, 13 weeks on the Billboard charts. Let's bring out a couple that is cute as a bug to sing Be My Little Baby Bubblebee. <laughs> one time, but last for a lifetime.
Let's hear it for those folks again. Here we go. That was fantastic. They were all so wonderful, but I gotta tell you, those, that Nance mother and daughter team, pretty amazing there. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for all your creativity and your gifts. What a treat. They always manage to make me cry. Don't tell anybody. So now we know what they were listening to on their iPod in 1912. Tonight we've had a lot of our oldest history. We have artifacts over there from 1755 up through 1912. We've heard some of the cultural things, some of the cultural music that was going on then. My, the last thing I want to share with you tonight is a film that we've been working on, a video we've been working on uh, for a number of months now, to talk a little bit more about our more recent history. From living members of our parish, talking about uh, times gone by, sharing some of their memories. Uh, we did 12 hours of video, but we can only show you 14 minutes of video. So there's a lot of wonderful, wonderful things we heard from 23 different people that we interviewed that I would love to be able to share with all of you, but I don't think you have 12 hours right now. But this is uh, a gift to the parish. It's a wonderful gift that these folks have gathered together and, and talked about their history, about their hopes for the present and their hopes for the future of St. James's. So let's, let's talk about our recent past, our present and our future. <laughs> 